Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. South Africa's migration to digital terrestrial television has experienced many delays, the latest being the set-top box compliance process. Krima Media's Natasha Odendal tells us more. Hi Natasha. Hi. The South African Communications Forum recently held a workshop to gauge South Africa's readiness in terms of the migration to digital broadcasting. Can you tell us a bit more about the aims of the workshop? Well, yes, considering that digital migration is already six years behind schedule, um, South Africa's manufacturers and industry stakeholders actually need to be ready for when it does start. I mean, it, it can happen at any time, we're not sure, but when it does, they need to be ready. So the SACF decided to get all stakeholders together, electronics manufacturers, um, Centec, ICASA, USASA, um, anybody who is actually even remotely involved in the project to sit down and discuss where the strengths and weaknesses of the industry are, what can be done to align the industry better, to prepare for the launch, and just to assess what the major problems are. And what was one of the main concerns that arose from the discussions at the workshop? Well, set-top box compliance process, um, that actually emerged as a serious weakness. Many of the manufacturers are a little bit worried that it takes three processes to get um, the set-top boxes to market. Currently, the set-top boxes are required to now go through process through ICASA, the um, National Regulator Compulsory Specifications Authority, um, as well as the SABS. Um, the worry is that it would take too long. Um, current estimates are about two months to go through all three. If the parties streamline the process, it will actually go considerably quicker. Um, it'll ease the burdens on the manufacturers and, and get the set-top boxes out there without delays. Um, according to the SACF, apparently the parties are now in discussions to investigate what can be done to ease this process even more. And what is next? The uh, SAC have said it planned to take all the information that it gathered from this workshop that it hosted um, and compile a report. Uh, this report will be handed to the DOC um, to give them a basic idea of the full state of readiness of South Africa's industry to roll out digital migration and obviously pinpoint where the major weaknesses are, including in policies and regulations, so that just in case, you know, when the next leader comes in, the process wouldn't need to be halted again because of reviews or, you know, um, new policies and, and goods like that, like most of the ministers have actually done since they've come in. This is hoping to make that sure that doesn't happen again, especially with elections around the corner. And the migration? Has anybody committed to a date? Well, considering the many delays that we've had so far, um, I've noticed that industry seems to be a little bit hesitant on cementing any further dates. Um, the set-top box control system seems to be still under debate, um, despite Cabinet's uh, decision in December that the use of a control, they'll install a generic control in the boxes, but its use is non-mandatory. Um, but broadcasters and some of the electronics manufacturers are still fighting the issue, they're still pu very publicly arguing it. Even though the final decision has been made, it still needs to be gazetted and um, industry players just still need, are still getting together and still talking about it. Um, the Department of Communications has left the discussion open um, and we're not entirely sure when that will close. Thanks, Natasha. That is the second Take Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.